What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com and today I've got a real quick eye for you in Legends of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on how to complete the Sinekoak Shrine or an uplifting device. Now most of these guys for me are going to be a bit ghetto. I don't think I ever solve these the way they're intended to be, but here we go. So the first thing you want to do for this one is you want to take these wooden platforms and you want to build a small hot air balloon for yourself. So you take a wooden platform with a balloon, make sure they are fixed. So you put the wooden platform down get the balloon and then make sure it's attached to the wooden platform and then all you have to do is get a candle and put that underneath the balloon somewhere now quite often these will escape quicker than you're able to jump on them if that's the case you can always use your little rewind time ability to bring stuff back down although sometimes you can just jump on it depending on what's going on you can see there didn't make it happens rewind the time bring it back down and you're good to go Uh, so you've got to ride the balloon up. Once you get up to the top, there is another similar puzzle. There are a couple of balloons, um, a gate that is barricaded by sort of several bars that come down into the floor, um, and then some fire things. Basically, all you have to do that one is use one of the balloons to put it inside the doorway. So you can see the metal bars over there, and then use a torch to send that balloon up to the button, which you can see just on the ceiling there. I've done my best to cut these and minimize the amount of time as possible because I know these are quite long and watching a full 15 minute walk for I mean, 30 minutes was a long time for took me to figure this one out but I try and cut it down without missing too much vital stuff. So pop that in the balloon. The balloon will then go up and it will press the button. This opens up the final room. Uh, this one's probably the one that took me the longest. Um, you need to drop down into the lower level to sort out most of the stuff that's going on. You need to bring up a large ball and a small ball from down below, put them into the appropriate holes on the other side to open up the final door and complete the shrine. You can see there's sorts of the balls down there, one big one, one small one, and then simply head down to the bottom. I don't know why I used the ladder. I could have just glided. I never glide anywhere, but there you go. I wanted to use the ladder this time. So once you get to the bottom, it's a combination of the same puzzle again. You've got the balls, the fire, and the... Um, balloon devices so for this one it's very simple all you need to do is put together another balloon device so you use a balloon a fire stick and make sure that the ball is attached to the platform that way it doesn't roll off because if it's not attached to something it is still physics based so it can still roll off it's not immune if it's attached you can still get you know things can tilt and stuff but it's a lot safer again if it starts to escape before you're able to jump on it all you've got to do is use the rewind time ability bring it back down jump on it and you're good to go As it starts sailing up, you want to make sure that you get the ball ready. So grab it, wiggle the stick to unattach it. Make sure you get the ball. If you unattach anything else, the whole thing will fall apart and you'll fall down and have to start again. Once it's up there, just simply push it away. You don't have to get it perfect. Once it's on that platform, it's 100% safe. Then you can take your time putting the ball in the hole afterwards. Once you've got that bit, you want to head back downstairs and it's another contraption to deal with the bigger ball. This is to get sort of the optional reward. Um, this one's similar, except you need to use these flame torchy things. You put these on all the sides. You put the ball in the middle with the balloon on top of it. And then I just put another one aside again. Bit ghetto, but you know, as long as it works, right? It doesn't matter how you solve it. Just attach this somewhere where the fire works and that will bring it all the way up. Um, I wouldn't bother trying to jump on this one because it just goes up and it's a bit of a mess. So just pop this on there, attach it however you can. This will bring the big ball up as well. Once the big ball is attached, simply head back up to the top and it's pretty much repeating a similar process depending on where yours lands. Yeah, all you've got to do is find a safe location to be able to target. The device doesn't matter at this point, so if it all falls apart and crashes down, it's not an issue. All you've got to do is grab and detach the ball. You can use the other stuff, obviously, to bring it up. Once you've got the ball, put it in the big slot. You've then got access to the optional treasure for this one and the end of the quest itself, the completion of the shrine. It goes nice and quick, nice and easy. Get what you need and get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.